Just love you, Jesus loves you. So there has to be a moment in time, a point in time, like it's like a single moment when you, you know, a, f- a few seconds or whatever where G- you say, Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And you give Jesus your life. You let him run your life. Uh, like this video I wasn't wanting to make because I was getting tired. But uh, you let Jesus run your life. Uh, you give it to him. And it's supernatural. So God has to God has to be there. He has to do it. So you have to pray for it. and uh, But you also have to do it. It's like you and God, like Jesus, Jesus says you're going to go to hell without him. But he'll be your best friend. And he... He gives his hand of kindness and love and leadership. So you either go say no and go to hell or you say yes and take his hand and he's your master and God and your, your best friend and you guys love each other and whatever happily ever after. But, uh, but it's a moment in time where you, Jesus from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And it's like, an atom bomb goes off. Every conversion is a radical conversion. I don't, like I grew up in Christianity and my conversion was radical. So like converting from being selfish and doing my own thing and trying to serve God also, like trying to be saved, trying to serve him, but also being selfish and like following God in my own mind rather than having God live in me and live through me and just giving everything to Jesus. So it's a single moment in time where you, it's a radical conversion. You give everything to Jesus. So, uh, and you'll know if it, uh, when you give your life to Jesus, you'll know that it happened. So anyways, love you. Jesus loves you. Jesus.